The majestic coast redwood forests of Northern California has inspired generations with its beauty. Sequoia sempervirens is the world's tallest tree, reaching heights above 320 feet. These trees maintain clean water, wild flowing rivers, and provide critical habitat for unique plants, such as the Calypso orchid, and animals including endangered salmon, marbled murrelets, northern spotted owls, and the rare wandering salamander. This salamander lives in the redwood treetops in old growth forests like Jedediah Smith Redwood State Park. The redwood forest is ancient and redwood relatives once grew in forests across North America and beyond. But over the past 150 million years of changing landscapes and climates, the redwood forest range has shrunk to only 1.9 million acres along the coast of Northern California. Along this coast today, winter rains and summer fog keep the forest cool and moist year-round. But climate change in the 21st century will increase temperatures and alter the amount of rainfall and fog that reaches the redwood forest. What will the impact of this new California climate be on redwood trees and other redwood plants and animals? Will the redwood forest range shrink further, like it did thousands of years ago? Or will the redwood forest migrate into new habitats with more favorable climates? To try to answer these questions, Save the Redwoods League needs your help to understand where redwoods are thriving today. Join citizen scientists around the world to study redwoods in changing climates by participating in the League's Redwood Watch Project. Help us monitor where redwoods are growing throughout their native range today. Or locate a redwood planted in a unique climate around the planet. By submitting your observation to the Redwood Watch Project, Save the Redwoods League scientists will track the migration of redwood forests over time and learn in what climates redwood trees can survive. Each redwood tree provides a clue that will help us understand the future of these majestic forests. Join with Save the Redwoods League in protecting these trees today.